Hello and welcome to another edition of On Our Terms, a video series by AIA Contract Documents. In this video, I will be talking about some of the terms in B101, specifically Article 4. In this video, I'll be referring to B101, but you will find these phrases in many other agreements in our library. As always, nothing provided in this video is intended to be legal advice. If you need legal advice, the best thing to do is to contact a local attorney licensed in your jurisdiction to give advice based on your specific facts and circumstances. With that, let's talk about these terms. This is from AIA document B101 2017, which is one of our standard owner architect agreements. Again, this is just one example, but many other documents contain similar language. As you can see, this article lists supplemental services, which may or may not be included in the architect's services. These services are not included in the architect's basic services, but the parties can choose to include them. The architect only performs the services if they are specifically indicated within this table. If the parties do not indicate a service, it is not part of the project. Here is the rest of the table. While we do not have a definition for all 30 of these items, we do have some definitions in the instructions and in separate scope documents. This is from the instructions for B101. As you can see, this defines three of the terms in the table, conform documents for construction, as designed record drawings, and as constructed record drawings. So this section from the instructions does go over those three particular terms in 4.1.1.14, 4.1.1.15, and 4.1.1.16. This is a listing of architectural scope documents that we publish. They are in the B200 level, meaning that they start with the letter B followed by number two. The architectural scope documents are documents listing only a scope of architectural services. They are intended to be attached to an owner architect agreement, so they can be used in conjunction with B101 or another owner architect agreement. So they don't stand on their, on their own. They are intended to be attached to an owner architect agreement. You can see that some of the services listed in the table in B101 Article 4 are included here, such as, for example, B202 programming. The parties may want to use one or more of these scope documents to define the scope or scopes. Please note that none of these are legal definitions and the terms are intended to have the meaning commonly understood in the industry. To the extent that the parties require further clarification, they should take care to discuss the exact parameters of the architect's services. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. We also have plenty of other ways to get questions answered as well. You can see some of them on the screen here. And finally, again, nothing in this video is intended to be legal advice. And thank you very much for attending this presentation of On Our Terms from AIA Contract Documents.